two things that we usually do to stay on top of what's going on are kind of create news feeds on um, the future of news, I guess you could say. It's a combination of things, email newsletters, Twitter, um, and you know, using that as a kind of way to start your day. You know, you look at what other people are reporting, um, and then look at more direct sources of what are people in individual companies talking about. You know, what's going on at the Times? What are what are people working on at BuzzFeed? What are people working on at NPR? Um, besides that, you know, a lot of what we do here is just traditional reporting. You know, we spend a lot of time talking to people on the phone, talking to people at Google, talking to people at Twitter. You know, whatever projects that they've got going on. Um, and you know that's largely how we try to stay on top of things. Um, it's it's a lot of time reading and keeping on top of what other people are talking about. Um, but also, I mean, for us, what really helps is that we try to focus specifically on projects and um, what people are trying to do, either with their business side or with the editorial side. We're not really spending a lot of time looking at hirings and firings. We're not spending a lot of time looking at. Um, you know, sort of the, the quarterly numbers and things like that. We're more interested in sort of the, the gritty details of how did you build this data visualization? You know, why did you do a, a reporting project in a certain way? Um, and how are you experimenting with new ways of making money on, on the business side, either with advertising or if you're a nonprofit, you know, what you're doing with philanthropy, how you're trying to build memberships and things like that. I think my favorite part's probably <laughs> getting to talk to people at various media companies about what they're doing and, and getting kind of inside detail about what they're up to. And so it's um, not every day that you get a chance to sort of look behind the scenes and find out what people are working on and, and sort of the details of what makes things work and what they learn. And I think that that's really helpful. And the thing that we say often is that if people can read Neiman Lab stories and find something to steal for their own business, then, then it's been a success.